first lab for Bio 169, otherwise known as Anatomy and Physiology 2 at our school. We're going to look at synovial joints, otherwise known as diarthroses, meaning free range of motion. Right, and we're going to see there are several structures we need to understand here. The first one is going to be called the joint capsule. It has two parts, a fibrous layer and a synovial membrane. The next structure will be the cavity itself, which is the space between the two bones or the two articulated bones. We have an articular cartilage, synovial fluid, accessory structures. And here we're going to have meniscus, fat pad, bursa, and ligaments. Remember that tendons are associated with muscles. The types of synovial joints we'll see later are gliding, hinge, pivot, condylar, also known as ellipsoidal, saddle, and ball and socket. You might also notice that gliding are also called planar, as in flat. Uh, I bet they look like cubes, so that you would have two flat surfaces mm, articulating so this surface would articulate with that surface and there would be two flat surfaces. Ellipsoidal, to remind you, looks like the ellipsis. It's not quite round, like a ball and socket, but is an ellipsoidal, you know, kind of looks like an oval. The movements we'll see are flexion, extension, and hyperextension, abduction, and a deduction, circumduction, just to go around 360 degrees, medial rotation and lateral rotation, which is to turn in place with a fixed point, pronation and supination, inversion and eversion, which we speak of when we think about the sole of the foot, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, again, having to do with foot uh, or ankle posture, opposition and reposition, this has to do with the thumb, protraction and retraction, elevation and depression, and then lateral flexion. All of those have to do with our XYZ axes of motion. 